Hey guys, how's it going? Josh Mason here, work with joshmason.com. And today in this video, I just want to take you through the dashboard of the WordPress, uh, get you guys familiar, show you around a little bit. That way you kind of understand what's going on without, uh, you know, taking forever to try to figure it out. It's going to save you a little bit of time and uh, we're going to get you rocking now. Uh, if you've been following along with the first few videos, um, you know that we've, in video one, we got your domain name, we got your hosting all set up. In video two, we installed WordPress. So now here we are in video three. Um, where we're going to go in the back dashboard of WordPress, and I'm going to kind of show you guys around here. So um, if you're you know looking to start your own network marketing blog, and you, you're starting from scratch, and you've somehow stumbled on this video, uh, make sure you go back to video one, head over to the blog, workwithjoshmason.com. You can find all the steps you know, right in a row for you guys. You can head back to video one and get started um, you know, with the first step. Otherwise, if you guys have you know done all the steps up to this point, and um, you're ready to roll, Let's get rocking. Now, um, first, first thing we're going to do is um, yours is going to look a little bit different than this when you come up. If you go up here to screen options, you can deselect some of these windows that you guys are going to have open here. For example, you know, if I put, see, all this stuff's going to be here. I usually keep it nice and clean, so I just go with um, the right now comment or the right now column and the recent comments column. Okay, so when you guys add comments and stuff, I'll be able to come in here. And see those nice and easily, kind of get a glimpse of what all is on the site. And um, it's really just kind of the way I do it, but it's totally up to you guys. If you want to clean that up a little bit, just hit screen options. Um, and as, you know, as you can see too, I have some pages and, and one post up here. Fresh new website, so not a lot going on here. You guys will just have, um, you have like one post, one page, It'll be like sample pages there. You guys can go in and delete those and then just start your own posts and pages. And I'll show you all about all that here in a second. So, um, now, if you come over here to the left, this is where we're going to have all our controls and everything. We're actually going to go to uh, appearance first. So we're going to talk about themes. Yours, um, depending on the time you see this video, it'll come default with 2012, most likely, or something similar to that, a WordPress, a free WordPress theme. Now, let's talk about themes for a second. There's, there's free themes and then there's paid themes. And I'm going to kind of tell you the pros and cons of each. Um, you know, the free theme, it's great. You can do quite a bit of stuff, uh, but you're a little bit limited to some things. And also, too, you're gonna, it's going to require you to get more uh, what are called plugins later on to be able to uh, do extra stuff to your website, add extra custom features, you know, and all that good stuff. So the reason I go with a paid theme, which is the Genesis framework here, very highly optimized, um, very uh, lightweight. It's, the code is written well. And... You know, it requires less plugins um, to get more done. Okay, a lot of this, the options are built into the code. So the reason this is important, guys, is because especially nowadays, Google likes fast loading, um, lightweight sites that have uh, a lot of great information. Now, the key is to be fast loading. When you have a lot of plugins going, it takes your site longer to load, and the longer it takes to load, it you know it's bad for people coming to your site because. You know, people are less and less patient these days, and they'll, they'll click away quick if your site doesn't load fast enough. And then also in the eyes of Google and other search engines, if your page doesn't load quick, it's just one factor, um, you know, along with a lot of other factors. But it's one, you know, significant factor. So we wanted to, um, you know, basically try to keep the site as light as possible, lightweight, not, not a lot of plugins, fast loading. And with a framework like Genesis, um, you're going to be able to do that. Okay, so I recommend getting the paid theme. Um, I think it's like 60 bucks for Genesis. Totally worth it. You can reuse it for as many blogs as you build. And um, also, two guys below here, I'll have a partner link. If you guys decide to purchase Genesis through my link, send me a um, send me an email with the receipt, and I'll send you some bonus stuff to get you going even more. Some some things that can really um, get your site a little more uh, customizable for you. Things that's taken me a while to go out and learn and find different bits and pieces of information from all the places I've kind of put together in one little bonus, you know, package for you guys. So just a little incentive if you do buy through my link, uh, be sure to let me know. Send me a copy of the receipt, and I will send you uh, the bonus stuff to really get you going. Okay. Now we'll, we will talk about child themes uh, in a later video. Okay. So in case you're wondering why I have the Genesis framework here and the child theme here, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, you know, but it's up to you guys. I recommend the, the Genesis theme. You can see I'm using it, um, but it's totally, you know, at the end of the day, it's totally up to you guys. Let's stay inside this appearance tab here, okay? Um, actually, you know, let, let's, um, let's actually head down to settings first. Okay, so you see the settings here. We have a general setting. 
This is where we can change our site title and our tagline. You know, so let's work with Josh Mason, Smarter Network Marketing. You know, you can put a little tagline for your website and all that good stuff in here. All this other stuff should be good to go. If you do change anything, just make sure you guys hit save. Um, with the writing, good to go on that one. We don't need to talk about that one too much. Reading, this is going to be where you can make um, a selection here to where you want visitors to land when they come to your website. So if you want them to come to your, all your latest posts, you know, stack one after another, you can do that. Or if you just want to come to a static page, like a home page or something like that, you can select that here. That's pretty important stuff. Um, definitely make sure this is unchecked. It should be already. Of course, always hit save changes. Uh, permalinks. Let's talk about permalinks for a second. You'll have by default this check. You want to come down here to post name. This is when you create a post. You'll be able to, um, you know, edit the URL to your liking. Something that's clean. Something that works for the for the post itself. It'll give you a little more control. So make sure you definitely come here to permalinks. Hit post name. I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you an example of a post. I'll show you exactly what I mean by this here in a second. So go ahead and hit that, and then make sure you hit save changes, and you're good there. Um, now plugins. This is what we talked about briefly. This is where you can add um, extra. Well, let's see here. Actually, let's take a look real quick. I'll show you the ones I have installed. This is where you can add stuff like uh, spam prevention and control. Uh, database backup stuff. If you guys remember from uh, video two where I had you unselect the database backup, you know, uh, paid feature there in Just Host. That's because we can add a plugin here that's going to back it up automatically for us. And there's tons and tons and tons of plugins, but like I mentioned earlier, the less plugins you have, the better. Um, so you can see I'm only rocking. Uh, I have five installed. I haven't got this one activated at the moment. It's acting a little crazy. So these are four important ones though. Um, this one here prevents spam, and um, it comes already loaded up inside your WordPress. What we need to do is you need to get what's called an API key, which is a free key. Um, when you go to activate this and you click activate, there will be a button that says click here to you know get your free API. Simply click that button, go through the few steps. They'll email you the key. You'll be able to come back in, put it in, and then this thing is basically activated. Okay? Um, as far as I know, that's the only plugin where you need to get a key like that. I'm sure there are some. It's the only one I use where you need a key, so that's the only time you'll have to do that step. Otherwise, let's skip down here for a second to the WordPress database backup. This is super important. You can schedule your website and all the content and everything to be backed up either on a daily basis, a weekly basis, um, you know, pretty much whatever you want. And it's really important just in case there were some kind of crash, server crash, or who knows, you know, with technology, anything can happen sometimes. So it's always good to back your stuff up. And I'll show you here in a second how we get the new plugins. The uh, XML sitemaps, guys, I recommend you guys uh, install this one too. And these are all free plugins too, by the way, guys. You don't have to pay for these or anything. What this does here, it creates what's called a sitemap for your website, which is um, something that helps Google index and search and, and crawl, basically, your website. Okay, so that's an important one too. It'll automatically create a sitemap for you. Pretty cool stuff. And this one here, this is just an optional one that gets us our favicon, which is the little logo that's up in the tab um, with your website and stuff. This, there's a way to build it right into the code, which I'm working on now. So um, I might have a video for that by the time you guys are seeing this to get you uh, one less plugin. And we'll just put put what we need right into the code and save ourselves even one less plugin, which is awesome. Okay, so to get the plugins, guys, you just come up here to add new, and then you can search through. You can search for plugins, um, and you can sky's the limit. All kinds of stuff in here, but less plugins the better, and um, that's where that Genesis theme really comes into play. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, now, see you guys, you're not going to have this custom background probably in yours if you're rocking the Genesis themes. It's part of what the bonus thing I give you. Uh, to make it easy for you, so you can do your own custom background. Uh, you can do custom headers. You can create menus, which are. Uh, let me show you for a second what that is. Like this would be your menu right here. Okay, so that's where you come in and create that kind of stuff inside menus. Um, widgets would be like pretend. Let's let's say I'm not doing a one column layout, and I have my content here. Then I have some other like a sidebar content here. 
that's where you can put in widgets, guys. If you do decide to do a two column layout or even a, a two or three column layout, um, you can put in what's called the sidebar here. You can put in these different widgets, okay? So you can put in, like, say you want to put a banner, you can create a banner and put it inside one of these text widgets, um, which I'll show you in other videos too, guys. I got all that information here at workwithjoshmason.com. So I would bookmark this page, guys. Definitely, I mean, each day I add new stuff. Um, as I'm learning more stuff and more stuff, there's always good stuff on here. So you can come back daily, uh, touch base with me. And, you know, we can lock arms and we can really do this thing together because that's really what it's all about. And there's a lot of great information. So I highly recommend coming back often, frequently and often. And um, a lot of different stuff you can do in there, guys. I just want to kind of give you an overview. I don't want to get too detailed into what each one is in this particular video. But just know that that's what the widgets do. Uh, media, we'll talk about that real quick. That's where you can upload pictures and uh, videos, audio files, stuff like that. You have a media library. I'll show you that in another video as well, a little more detailed. Um, and let's talk about there's posts and pages, which are kind of the same thing. Pages are more like static pages. So if you're going to create like a static home page and your about page and contact page, you're going to want to do it inside the pages here. And then as far as like your daily posts, you're going to do those as blog posts. Okay, so uh, kind of works the same. But you have a little, uh, a couple different options with the post. You can categorize it, add tags, all that good stuff. So take a look real quick at the posts. See, I just had the one post created so far. The time you guys are seeing this. But what you do is you just click Add New. An editor just like this will pop up for you. Here's where you can put the title of your post. Here's where you can put in the content, the body of your post. Now you see you have a visual and a text editor here. Uh, you go to Visual. To do like hi, you know, I'm Josh, and you can just put it uh, just like that. And then to add, like, say, a picture, we just do add media. You can upload a file if you already have files in here that you've uploaded. For example, let's just put this one. You see, it comes over here. Um, this is where you can link that image. This is how you can align it left, right, center. You can go to a custom URL. So now when that image is in there, it's in your blog post. You can click on that. It's going to go to wherever URL you specify. And then you simply just would click insert into post. You can see it's centered, um, you know, and you're good to go there. Now, what I want to show you too, guys, is this is automatically creating your HTML text. Okay, so you don't have to write any code or do any that crazy stuff when you're inside the visual editor. You just, what you see is what you get kind of thing. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. And then um, a couple cool things over here. You can save a draft if you're halfway through it and come back to it. You can um, publish. You can schedule when you want it to be published. So maybe you want to write all your blog posts uh, ahead of time and schedule them throughout the week for each day. That's where you do that right there. Here's where you can add categories. I recommend just one category per blog post, uh, the one that's most relevant at the time. Tags, guys, not quite as important as it used to be. I've actually been skipping those. This kind of makes the site look ugly and I don't think they really um, you know they really have much precedence anymore so I usually skip that here. Here's what's cool here with the Genesis theme is your typical free WordPress theme isn't going to have these additional settings and these are important because this is where um, like when you're going to Google something the result that comes up like what you see here's where you can customize that so you can customize what the um, headline is going to be you can customize what the message is and this is basically helping with all your SEO stuff. You don't have to be an SEO wizard or even understand how that works, uh, but you can put in, you know, what you need to put in here. And normally you'd have to do, if you didn't have a Genesis or another paid theme, you'd have to go get a plugin for this uh, to do these custom SEO settings. So that's what's cool about Genesis, stuff like this where it's already built in uh, that just makes it faster and makes it more powerful. It makes it able to handle uh, big professional websites that we're going to create for you. Okay, so. Super cool stuff in here. You know, here's where you guys can change out the layout. Uh, on de by default, I have the one column, so every post would be like this. But say a particular post I wanted to make it, you know, this two column sidebar, I would just select that for this particular post. Uh, really cool stuff. Um, this would be you. Know, you never want to have these checked unless, uh, for example, like for my privacy policy, my disclaimer, stuff like that, I apply the no follow. This just tells Google not to follow that page basically, but for your posts and everything, you definitely want to make sure that search engines are finding you, finding the content. That's basically what that is. Here you can set a featured image. 
This is important, guys, because, for example, let's say you created this blog post, you published it, you're going to grab the link and you're going to share it on Facebook. We know how when you share a link, an image pops up with it. This is the image that will be shown. And if you don't have something here, it'll just be by default, it'll pull one of your images throughout your post. So if you want to you know, make sure you have a featured, you know, a set featured image, do that right here. And then let's actually talk about this right here real quick. This is where uh, you might be familiar with this, like through you know Word and stuff like that. Here's where you can you know make stuff bold, italicize, underline it, strike it through, block quote it, change the color, um, link it. Okay, if you guys want to do a what's called a hyperlink, so say you want this text to be a clickable link to go somewhere, you just put in the URL that you want it to go to. So then in your blog post that would be highlighted in blue and be able to click it and go off to another website or a page within your website or whatever the case may be. If you click this here, it's going to open a separate window. So it's pretty cool to know there. Um, some of this other stuff I don't really use. The indent's kind of important. Uh, it just indents your text in a little bit, especially if you're, if you're using a, um, a border on the side here, like a background that has like a border on the side. The, the words are all pressed up against like a black, black border here that looks kind of bad. You want a little space in between there, you just indent it. Uh, this is how you just align the text, and you do um, numbered lists and, and stuff like that. So that's how you kind of, you know, get your text rocking there. And just, you know, feel free to come in, guys, you know, and uh, just kind of play around with this a little bit, too, before you, um, you know, before you get your website fully set up. Just come in, just kind of play around a little bit. It's the best way to really learn. Take some of what I'm showing you here and just kind of run with it. And, of course, if you publish something, guys, you can always go unpublish it or just completely delete it so you can just have one where you're just kind of messing around with and um, you can actually turn it to um, private so nobody but you could ever see it and and then you know you can just be like a little uh, little area to do edits and kind of figure stuff out. And up here is the last thing I want to show you inside post. As you can see since we went uh, earlier um, where was it? Inside settings here, permalinks if you remember let's um, that's actually I want to show you in case you guys forgot. Let's just leave that. Permalinks, guys, we could well we selected this here. Now why that's important. <coughs> Give it one second here. So I put it in uh, I just call that marketing. You just will wait a second here, it's gonna automatically uh, create your URL for you. Here in a second, let's see. All right, there we go. Yeah, as you can see here, it just puts in automatically puts in whatever the title hit title is here. It's gonna automatically by default call that here. But you can actually edit that. So if you had a really long title and you want to keep maybe a shorter, sweeter link, you can do that right inside there. Click OK, and you're good to go. Um, and that should pretty much cover as far as posts go, guys. As soon as you have everything good to go, you can always preview it. Then once you, um, you, know, you think it's good to, good to go, you just click publish, and boom, that'll be live on the internet. Um, let's see, cover posts, cover media pages, comments. That's just where you can go see the comments people have left. Uh, Genesis. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit more in another post. Appearance. I think we've caught everything there, guys. Uh, in my bonus video, we're going to talk about the editor here. This is an important area. You don't necessarily need to know about it um, for this video or even to get started. But uh, it's a little more advanced stuff. So once you guys get get this rocking, um, you know, I can show you some stuff about the editor as well. And that should pretty much cover it, guys. Um, that's the most important stuff here. Uh, tools I don't really use too much. Um, this is where we, we do our backup. Yeah, let's actually talk about the backup real quick. So I'm going to show you here. Um, once you go to the plugins and you've installed that database backup plugin, it'll then come underneath the tools here. And when you go to backup, this is where you can actually schedule. Um, here you go, right? Scheduled backup. So you can do, I usually just do once a week, and that, that seems to be good. And then it just emails you a, a copy of it. Boom, schedule backup, and you're good there. Super important. You always want to back up your work. You know, there's nothing worse than creating awesome content and, you know, something happens and boom, it's gone. So, super important there. 
Um, yeah, guys, but for the sake of time and for the sake of information overload, I don't want to get too crazy here. Definitely come in, play around, ask me some questions if you have any. I'll help you guys out to the best of my ability. Um, with that being said, after you got these steps rocking in video four, I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, email lead generation system. Okay, so you can actually capture leads online, uh, follow up with your prospects on autopilot, and um, it's really the cornerstone of you know automation and technology and, and internet-based business is what we're going to be able to start doing in the next few steps. So once you guys get this rocking, uh, definitely head over to video four. I'll show you how to create your squeeze page and opt-in page. Um, all the email lead generation stuff is going to be all in the next video and it's pretty awesome stuff so you definitely want to check that out. Hope you guys are getting some great value from this. Uh, like always, if you've got any questions, comments, anything I can help you out with guys, feel free to just drop them right below this blog post. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Josh Mason signing out, and I will see you guys on the next video.